Quick Explorers, new adventure here, takes us to a little bit south. We are in the fine state of Texas, Allenson, Texas to be exact. We had just flown in. Um, it was little Henry's very, very first uh, plane ride. And uh, we didn't really document much of it because it was a little bit of a challenge. We had to switch planes and stuff on the way down. But we are here. We are at the uh, Merritt Courtyard right near the stadium. So our goal, our objective tomorrow is to go to the uh, baseball game. We're going to see the Red Sox play the Rangers. It's the only stadium I've been to. It just opened last year. It's the first year for people. So that's what we're going to do. So uh, stay tuned for the adventures yet to come. What's up, everybody? It's the next day. It's obviously clear out. We didn't get much sleep last night. I uh, couldn't really fall asleep. Uh, once we got here, I was watching some TV, and I fell asleep at 4, and Henry had us up at 6 o'clock. So, right now, I'm going on a little adventure here in the rental car, which is actually not bad. It's too bad. I'm just using it to litter out today. But, um, unfortunately, we forgot a few things when we got here. And uh, I forgot my watch, my wedding ring, and uh, the thing I really need is a stroller to get us to the stadium, which is about a mile and a half away that we're going to walk to. Um, and we don't have it, and he's getting a little too heavy to carry for two miles. So, plus, if you want to kind of just diddy bop around and everything, it's just easy to put him in the stroller. So, I'm heading to Walmart, it's one like two miles away. They have a cheap stroller for like 15 bucks. Hopefully, they have it there. I'm gonna pick that up and then we're gonna start our day. So, stay tuned. All right, so that was an adventure at Wally World. You never know what you're gonna find at a Wally World, period. Um, especially in Texas, but that was a gigantic Walmart. Um, and the location of this thing is actually really, really, really smart. Uh, so where we're located here in Allenton, um, right across the street from me right now is the AT&T Stadium where the Cowboys play. And then down the street, right like a block away, is the new Rangers Stadium. And a block away from that is the old Rangers Stadium, still intact. They're keeping that. I think the college is going to use it or something like that. And then you have Six Flags over there. But then you have like all these hotels all around here. So uh, you figure if you're staying at a hotel and you need something in a pinch like we did, the Walmart's right here, or if you're, um, you know, tailgating at a football game, like you come and buy your supplies. They probably let you tailgate in the parking lot too. So there's AT&T Stadium. We will be hitting that stadium up hopefully someday. My sister Alex and I went to that stadium for a uh, basketball game, the NBA All-Star game. In 2010, we went there. It's a pretty cool stadium inside. Let's see if we can get close to it. See if we can get a picture of it. All right, here's AT&T. Pulled over to the side of the road so we can kind of check it out. Pretty cool right there. Very nice. Someday we'll go ahead for a football game. It's on the list. Probably when they play the Saints. Go so check out the baseball stadium. All right, there's the baseball stadium over there. The new one. Um, Globe Life. You can see the... See those two metal things right there and there's one on the other side the roof actually slides out um onto those things to open it it's very similar to the miami Marlins stadium design it's the same exact thing the roof kind of slides on a track out which is kind of cool let's go see if we drive around there and see if we check it out all right here's the stadium coming up here on the left and you can see those metal tracks that kind of go out on which the roof rides on to open it which is pretty cool um like i said the Marlins stadium in, in miami has the same exact design um, it's going to be kind of misty today, so I'm assuming the game's going to have the roof closed, which is, which is fine. It's always a, it's a different experience to go to a game with the roof closed, but um, it's going to be Little Henry's first Red Sox game because, of course, the Rangers are playing the Red Sox, which is cool. Actually, we're going to take a left up here. We're going to drive by the old stadium, which would be cool. There's the front. I'm sure we're going to get some more pictures of it later when we go to the game. And then there's the old stadium over there which I think is a beautiful piece of architecture. I think that was one of my favorite design stadiums. And just, I understand why they had to make the move to an uh, enclosed stadium because of the intense heat here in Texas in the summertime. But God, this is a beautiful stadium. So we're gonna get pretty close to it. Let's take a left up here. So I'm holding up traffic. See, this is Globe Life Park. So it was originally um, Rangers Ballpark in Allenton. Um, obviously, the names changed several times over the years. So that was the last name of the place before they had uh, gotten the new stadium. 
Um, it's basically across the street. But I'm, I'm glad they're saving the stadium. For I understand they are saving the stadium because this stadium is beautiful. It is an architectural, grand type of stadium. It kind of reminds me of the old school designs from the like early days of baseball. I do like what these cities are doing um, when they do put their ballparks, all their stadiums in the same area. Philadelphia kind of started this trend, I think, um, years ago when they put all their stadiums in the south side of Philly in this area. And then they design, you know, the infrastructure around it, with train stops and bus stops and restaurants and bars to go to, whatever that, that. It's a very, very unique idea. It actually seems to be working out very well. And you know, Texas obviously has adopted that idea once they built the uh, the football stadium and moved out of the uh, Georgia, the, the, was it the Texas uh, Dome, I guess they were before. All right, now we go find our hotel. So as we said, we forgot our stroller and my car as we got driven to the airport. So we had to go to home, Walmart this morning while we went there and little Henry got himself a little stroller. The only reason we got this is it's only $15, we figure. You know, if, if a Mac makes it through this trip, it's good. Our hotel is right there. And right over here, across the parking lot, is the baseball stadium. It's probably like a mile away or so. But carrying a 35 pound baby, uh, not so much. And the stadium allows you to bring a stroller. So that's what we're going to do. That's what we did. A little investment. Oosh. But we'll get our money's worth out of this battle area. Could have used the last night in Nashville. We had uh, connecting flights and uh, very far apart, opposite ends of the airport. That was going for a little walk here. Looks like we got the Allenton uh, Fire Department fixing the hoses or doing hose training or something like that, shooting water over there. It's pretty cool. All right, so we're walking around our hotel to kill some time while mummy gets ready, me and little man. Going on a little walk. We're uh, came across this restaurant right here. It's obviously abandoned. I'm trying to figure out what kind of restaurant it was. Looks like it was cool. I had a courtyard. If anyone knows what this restaurant is, leave a comment below. No trespassing signs on it. Looks like at one time it had a little cabana or something outside. Oh, let's go around the front and see what it looks like. It looks like it's been closed for a while. No trespassing signs. We're not going to go in there. It looks like there was like an outdoor area where you could drink, sit outside. Hmm. If anyone knows what this restaurant was called, no sign. Let us know in the comments below. Just give me an idea. Cory World, Cozy World. Oh, we're in Allenton, Texas, and we're right near the stadiums. And this is I thirty five, right there. So let us know. That's interesting, huh? Yeah, I came across this right here. We know this is a Joe's Crab Shack. It clearly is gutted out. It has one of the walls still up there. It has like the kitchen equipment. It looks like the kitchen is like still intact. I don't know if they just maybe moved the equipment out there. The whole building's like empty. They're digging stuff up. I don't know why they're saving the building. Perhaps they have to save that wall for some reason. I'm not quite sure. What do you think, buddy? Yeah. Interesting. Right. So we're at a barbecue place. Next is the stadium right there we're going to tonight. There's a little man He's watching this Sesame Street. We're gonna grab some barbecue, grab some lunch, and we're gonna go back to the hotel. We're gonna try to get a nap in. Get this kid nice and tired. Take a nap, so we're all ready to go to the game. It's four o'clock, we're gonna head over here, probably grab a snack. This is the barbecue place we're at right now. Susie is getting the food. And we're gonna go from there. There's a little waterfall there. It's cool. Well, you're off on a hot Texas day. Go to the game. We made it in the game. Little Henry's first Major League Baseball game. You can't see my face, but I'm smiling. Yay! We're brand new Globe Life Field. Okay. Ah! <laughs> oh, 
Watch your head. Sleepy Prince, fighting it, aren't you, big guy? Airport, we just got through security. Little man's an expert right now. Wide awake. And they shook the gas tank that runs the car. Hopefully, it'll charge us for gas because we're going to figure out how to open it. And now Susie's getting her back. We survived the first trip on an airplane. Last leg was a little rough, but I think he had a full diaper and it was nap time. So, can you say hi to everyone? Can you wave? Say hi. No, say bye. Bye. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a question, leave a comment, like, subscribe. Just waiting for the orange line. Just waiting for the orange line. You guys enjoyed this video please subscribe and click the alarm so wherever you get notification we get new ones see you later bye